Now, I don't even know what's in that truck. Dig in there and see what you can find. We are opening the door. You want to call Dale Earnhardt? His number's in there. Super flow is cold trickle. Official photograph of the White House with personal best wishes, George Bush. What do we got here? Just Are there tools in here? How much beer do you think Daryl drank out of this thing? Are you sure that's the hauler? I mean, it looks a little tiny. Freaking 70s carpet. It's got his initials on it. It says the Winston. Made in USA. They don't make toys in the USA anymore. Uh, oh my God, it takes all day to tell a story about that. That truck was, it was a... Uh... So we're back with the guys at the garage shop. We're taking everything out of the DW truck. We're gonna go through everything, see all what's in there. This thing is packed to the top with boxes and boxes of old stuff, NASCAR memorabilia, everything. As you saw in the first video, we only saw a little bit of what was in there. We didn't dig into it because we knew it would be a process. We're doing it all, we're doing it right. Setting up an easy up, putting a tarp down. We're gonna go through everything, show you guys everything in there. Has anybody figured out how to get that back door open yet or are we just gonna use the side door? I think you just have to use the side door. Yeah, back door is out. DW said there might be a million dollars in there from the Winston. Did you ask him? <laughs> <laughs> He's looking forward to seeing what's in there, that's for sure. So you told him we're going to go yeah. through it and shit, tell him all about it? Yeah, I said you're going to see some really cool videos. He's looking he's looking forward to it for sure. Because he almost forgot what was in there. Oh, well that's cool. So I guess we're going to do some digging for Daryl. Kevin with the garage shop is going to do like a whole documentary style production on this thing well, I wouldn't call it that, but well compared to me a, i'm a dude we, with a gopro on a stick we may win an oscar we may. Good it could be an oscar if kevin's involved well, i'm gonna put a microphone on you okay <laughs> who sold you these drugs <laughs> did i do it right where's the girl bud finally got everything ready told us to be here told us to be here at nine <laughs> it's 10 04 we are opening the door better late than pregnant oh, okay, okay. We're just gonna go like box by box. We're gonna bring them out in here and see what's in there. And um, we'll throw away what's garbage for Daryl and kind of tell them all what's in there and see what's going on. Important artifacts of racing relatedness on this side of the tarp. All right. And other nonsense over here. And then as we unload the truck, we'll just kind of work out this way. This is the one that had the jackets and stuff in it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I wanna get this one out of here. It's labeled 1981. Wow. I don't even know what's on the bottom of the box. Be There's right some now. stuff in here. We need to take up Franklin Carroll. 1981 NASCAR championship. More Bush pole plaques. Pole winner. I looked up after the last video. He won 11 pole awards in 81. So Daryl, yeah. I would like to um, ask for your permission to store one of these for you on uh, the wall by my desk. That'd be cool. <laughs> Autograph picture. The price of victory. Junior Johnson Budweiser car. October 87 from Donna Epps. Where are you at? Daryl kept your crochets. Come on, Donna. That's cool. Uh, Mountain Dew car win. That's freaking sweet. I wonder if this stuff used to hang on his, uh, in his office or in his house or something. Yeah. At some point. Nice hair, Michael. <laughs> oh, a license plate. What is this? Oh, oh that's, that's sweet. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. Yo, T-Birds. So as race fans, guys, why is this this cool time only happens once to me finding stuff like this is the only way that i will ever be able to partially experience an era that is gone that's why this stuff is cool to me like you can you can read about it you can hear about it people can tell you stories but stuff like this is it's artifacts that like it actually happened like i'm, I'm holding it it was there it makes it real Think about the last people who put eyes and hands on this stuff before I got put in the truck. Like how long it's been sitting here just collecting dust, not being uncovered. It's early 90s, I think, is when this truck went out of circulation. But who knows how long this stuff has been in these boxes. So it's a movie of something. What? When you pulled this out of the box, I thought this was like an Etch-a-Sketch or something. I, th I thought it was a toy. <laughs> I was like, oh, Fisher Price. I thought it was a toy too. <laughs> See? That is going to go in the mail probably tonight, and we're going to get that processed. Daryl, I thought you'd like a copy of winning the Do Crew Way. Do Crew Way. What's the Do Crew Way? All right, yeah, we're going to have to. Ass. We're going to have to see how that gets processed. Look at this. It's unpackaged boxes of oh, Raisin Bran. What? <laughs> that is so freaking cool. I wonder if these coupons are still. Daryl and Michael. Oh my god. <laughs> these coupons are still good. Michael and Daryl. 
Can we they send away for them. these hats and stuff on here still? I think there's no expiration date. You know what? Maybe we should keep this as a legend and we might find some of this stuff in there. So you're telling me Daryl wore vans? What? <laughs> Daryl, look how old these vans are. I wish he was here right now. Yeah, like, Daryl, put around. your shoes back put on. Your, put your shoes. These got tread on them. He ain't even doing kickflips or nothing, man. <laughs> Just hanging out. Right, let's slide this back in here. Another book, pictorial history. We got the broken piece of the top of a trophy of a go kart. Um, we'll see if we can find the rest of it. 1979. Wait, 79. Daryl wasn't even like. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. 61. The go kart trophy from 1961. That's wild. We got to keep all the pieces of this because he might want this. Yeah, we don't want the pieces of this to get separated. Is it 61? All right. Oh, no way. Check that out. That's hand painted. Somebody must have built that for him and sent it to him. Yep. And he I kept it. The, I don't know where the hood's at. It was in this crushed. Oh, wait, here it is. I drink two kinds of beer Budweiser and Free. I'm going to make sure this does not get separated. Ooh, a stick. Yes stickers that's cool yeah this car is in the building over there the bush class in 81 there's a letter in here that says 2dw looks like it it has been for a special son wow it's from his from his parents i bet he'd want that yeah from mom and dad this is literally a, a birthday card from Daryl's parents? Parents, yeah. That's amazing. I mean, Daryl's 70 something years old mm -hmm. now. He doesn't act like it. That's a compliment <laughs> if you're watching this. But man, that's that's really cool. We're gonna make sure this stays nice and safe for you. I'm gonna put this right next to the, uh, the go-kart trophy so it stays nice and safe. Okay, that's freaking sweet. That's a nice print. Are you gonna open the merch box? Stuff in there. A lot. This is like the first two boxes. Really? Like Did you guys find that briefcase yet? No. Oh, briefcase. what is that belt buckle? Oh man, this is some heavy duty stuff. Hey Spud, I got some more clothing for you. Sweet. Belt? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Daryl Wall trip. Get out of here and put this on right now. It's an 8 track. Oh, isn't this one? Oh, that's what they Kyle did that Petty album where everybody all tried trying. to sing. Yeah, yeah I heard about country. this. I'm glad they were really good race car drivers. <laughs> no. Yeah, a praise. Didn't, didn't Dale Earnhardt record that's a country hilarious. song? That's hilarious. Kyle Petty was big into that. Okay, and I they're still in the package too. Easy. What is this? I don't know. That's a base for a trophy, it looks like. Yeah, maybe it was from that 61 go-kart trophy. Just like a NASCAR archaeological dig. It really is. All things packed all the way back. Yeah. Yeah, it's like full, full. Oh. That's in here. Nothing. Nerfing. You never know. That could that be something. Is pretty deep. There the might bottom. be something on the bottom, yeah. yeah. More perfect. That's you when I pulled that out. I was like, oh, yeah. Stevie Waldrip Western Auto jacket. We should have brought gloves. <laughs> yeah. I haven't touched anything because I don't want poop on my hands. This is all like unopened Route 66 stuff. <laughs> it's almost got to do it. There's a lot of mouse bombs in there. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. When's the last time you played with a yo yo? Wow. <laughs> with Daryl on it. That's the world's fastest damn yo yo right there, and it's Goodyear. I wonder if it, is that a radius or a bias fly? That's a radial. Tires were radials by the time they used yellow letters on them, weren't they? Yeah, I think that was the first time. It's a okay, yo -yo. so that's a radial yo-yo. Radial yo-yo. Yeah. yeah. Radial yo -yo. We got it. That's got some weight to it. Watch the bottom. We found a Mark Martin puzzle. I'm going to text him a picture of this. He'll you know love Mark? that. Yeah. You know Mark Martin? Yeah. Oh, what is that? A Gatorade bag? And there's stuff in it. Oh, man. Dun, dun, dun. So I feel like this is what Daryl would take with him to the gym, you know, when he'd do his CrossFit and stuff like that. I feel like that's more of a Stevie bag. <laughs> so little, it's got like the little like yoga mat and exercise bands and stuff. Oh, Shit. Gatorade stuff. Golf shoes, baby. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Those are like still looking in like good condition. This I don't is a Chevrolet them. poncho. Unopened. What? Unopened? Gatorade. H2O. Gatorade sweat towels. That's a golf towel. That's for a golf bag. It's got the, this is like a Gatorade golf kit. 
Gatorade golf kit. No way. Yeah, let's we'll keep all that in the same bag. Yeah. That's like the bottle's really cool. Yeah, that, that's literally a Gatorade golf kit. You got the poncho for the rain. You got the golf shoes, shoes and the ready. towel with the clippy on it for your bag. This is Masters Ready right here. Most popular driver. Hockey fan there? Is that Brett Hall? What? He has a blues. And maybe he was friends with Brett Hall. Maybe. I think that's, that's Brett Hall. This is a cool sticker. See, I want, I want to get graphics. Like I want to get graphics that look like this. Yeah. Oh, another toy car. There's a couple in here. With the box, eighty-four Budweiser Monte Carlo, Terry Bates, cool. Sycamore, Georgia. So the oh. International Motorsports Hall of Fame. We took the Bobby Isaac car uh, up there and went through that place. That's a pretty cool museum if you've never been there. It's missing its wheels. Look at that. What? What? That Here's is the super cool. Here's the Oh, no way. No way. Oops. Oh, Sorry. Brett Hall. Not Brett. He's Are you sure that's the hauler? I mean, it looks a little tiny. Yeah, it's got a big motor. Are you sure? Oh, motor. this one. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, that's a little yeah, bit Yeah, that's better. Here, I guess. Uh, that's so cool. That's sweet. Oh, it's freaking country time. Is that a Neil oh. Bonnet car? Wait, no, who's that? that? Yeah, that's yeah Neil. Neil. That's Neil. Neil Bonnet. Can you fit a car inside it? Yeah, let's put Neil Bonnet in there. Is that an ashtray? Oh yeah. Oh, that's sweet. This is the stuff I like to play with. Yeah, we'll put put that aside. We're gonna make sure we don't lose that. I don't uh, think that's supposed to be part of that. No, that's a dirt dauber nest, but I don't know what the that thing is. There's another trophy. 95 Soccer Invitational Girls U through 11 Division Champs. Oh, here's another tractor trailer. A clock. I want to put some batteries in this thing, make it work. Oh, this. This one's bigger. This would have been the car that this truck pulled around with its last remaining paint scheme on it. Yep, that's what would have gone back there. ASA car. Oh, you got the hood. Super flow. See, it's got Moroso valve covers. Whoa, old gum. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. How much beer do you think Daryl drank out of this thing? A lot. A lot. <laughs> Open it up. I don't care if there's an ancient beer. I'll shotgun that thing right now. Nope. 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 Just memories. Just memories. He's even got Dare Walter Motorsport sticker. That thing is sweet. Hell yes. Made in USA. How about that? They don't make toys in the USA anymore. Uh, more eight tracks. Anything good? Any Freddy Fender? Oh, these look like you gotta be Stevie shoes. Wow, so this is Jeff box, Gordon in the. This box is stairs. labeled early days. Early days? Well, let's get get this box out of here. You still don't let me get up in there. Can you imagine these things? Oh, yeah, come on. Let me get, get, get up, up in here. It's a lot of cabinets. Yeah, I found the Winston briefcase. The Winston briefcase. <laughs> well, let me see. Is it on the front? Does it say something on the other side? So it says, it's got his initials on it, and it says the Winston. DLW. What year is it? Oh. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, my man. Are those gargoyles? Ray oh, Bans. Binoculars. Binoculars. Wow. These are Bushnell, too. These are high dollar. That green truck over there, right rear is flat. Yeah, I just rubbed on that thing. Uh, okay, we're inside now. Oh, there's actual parts in here still. It looks like I see some old cases of oil. Super flow sticker. What are we going here? Oh, there's a box in here. This is a scrapbook that a fan made for Daryl and Stevie. How cool is that, man? Hey, you got people that never met you in your life. With pictures of the Yeah, of your fan. Yeah. And he kept it. Yep. Wow. Poetry in here too. That's cool. Look at this clock. Check that out. Looks like he already has this stuff semi organized. Yeah, it does. Seventy-three, seventy-nine. Cool. Oh my God! There's some old electronics in here. 
Oh wow. More toys, a drive shaft, and some freaking 70s carpet. -uh. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a radio control. What? Yeah. Bro. There's some literature in there. It's a Indianapolis 500 winner crystal set. Wow. Still in the box. Summed up video, I used to work there. Really? Yeah. What year was that? 1993. Yeah, it was late, uh, late 80s, Bill early Osborne, 90s. 93. That was NASCAR's, well, what is NASCAR Productions today? The Sunbelt video. My footage. There we go. Oh. Kevin's like, my name's in there. Probably Fireproof so cabinet. Photos. Oh, Inside this thing show, yeah. is loaded. Uh, you probably open it up and look at it. That's all pictures. Another one here. There's some more VHS tapes in here. Got some oil leaking out a little bit, looks like. Nice! <laughs> Old Superflow oil. Nice! It's like this was never fully drained from being an actual... Race hauler. Yeah. Yeah, man. Is that cool? Thank you, buddy. Yeah. There's another case back there. What's that date code on there? 102490. That's oil from oil from 1990. Yeah, I think that's that film of some sort. Right. More toys in here. A steering wheel. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. Is it a radio or a phone? Or a remote control? I wonder if it still works. There's on switch. 1988. Oh, well it's turned on. I bet the batteries are probably dead. This crate here says DW's car on it. Might be interior stuff. Here, let's take these out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh there was something there was in there. something in there. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. What? It's like uh, glasses and stuff. And that's like a shooter right there. That's like two shots in one. Because Daryl knows how to party. Daryl, Daryl. Wow. Is this like a freaking gas car? Like a? It's like a flask car thing. I don't even know. Yeah? Is there liquid in it? I don't know. Liquid? It's got like a... Those guys over there are talking about your last video. Really? They're saying, yeah, watch that guy's video and it like pull the wards in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. Grant custom steering wheel. Look at that! Oh, F&A, look at this. I'm used to it, that burger. Oh. Look at this bag. Dude, there's a Daryl Waltrip Superflow. It says it right on there. I want this bag. <laughs> I, want, I want that bag. There is an ancient can of SD20 here, and I want this. There's another whole box of tapes in here. Let's get let's try to get let's get these boxes out. Yeah. We can start working our way back. There's cool shit right there. Yeah. I'll hop down if you want to hand me stuff down. We just got like a handful more boxes out of here. Stuff everywhere. So we can clear out some more stuff in here. There's like a table. This is the last major thing in here that's in the way. This is some cool. What? There you go. You put that in the late model trailer. Yeah, there's a there's an old drive shaft in here in an RC car. And I didn't need a second person to um, help me hold the door open and get this out. Yeah, it's, it's rough. Yeah, oh. brand new. Have you ever been inside this thing? No, it's the first time I've ever come in here. And how long have, has it been sitting here? A couple of years. And you, this has been here the whole time and you never, never went through it? It's pretty neat though. I mean, these cabinets are, everything's cool. 
Any race car parts. Bobby Allison, Dale Earnhardt, probably Ricky Rudd too. Oh, look at that! F and A! Battle flag, baby! <laughs> Big poster. Commonwealth of Kentucky. There you go, guy. Yep. Hey. Game drinking water. Those are the things on here. Yeah, it does. A lot of Darryl, Darryl. flag. What is that? Flag. Pretty nice old truck. Yeah. Old toolbox. There's a friend. Other tools in here. Rivets. Oh. Washer. So that's all useful hardware. Literature. Dang. Literature. <laughs> What were those little shims used for? A camera shim. Way back in the day. Well, I bet that's good. Oh, yeah. Mmm, want some coffee? Gatorade powder. I haven't seen that in about 38 years. Dang. I remember we used to take that stuff at a racetrack and put it in those big Gatorade coolers. I'd always put two of them in there. What year was this thing from, probably? Oh, man, that's got to be from the late 80s, early 90s. Look at this. Oh, that's so good. Look at instant cool. Gatorade. Oh my gosh. You can put that. Did they even have flavors then? <laughs> Did they even have flavors? SD20 hooker. I don't know either. Did they even have multiple flavors of Gatorade then, or was it all one flavor? I think there was orange. Just and orange? Orange and that other one. Yeah. That nope. green stuff. Can you tell what these cabinets would have been specifically used for? You, you know, you just don't. This looks like this might be cool. It's a big gas box. Easy spot. Are you ready? What do we got here? This could be a hidden treasure, and it is. We got that car. That car's in the shop right now. Hidden treasure. Kmart 66. That's freaking cool. It says, this trophy is presented to Daryl Lee Walter during your Victory Tour 2000. May this award represent our thanks and all the great memories and tell you that the fans love you and wish you, Stevie, Jessica, and Sarah nothing but the best. We will miss you. That's an awesome case with the glass cactuses and stuff. That's pretty neat. Who signed it? Ham. Is that Jeff, Jeff Hammond? Look at this old visor. Yeah. Bell visor. Wow. That's cool. That's really neat right there. An so extension cool. cord. Daryl CDs. Hey now. Hey now. DW. What's happening, my man? Hey, uh, we got the guys in the shop over here. We're cleaning out your truck. Yeah. There is there is a wealth of really cool stuff in here dw i'll snap some pictures of it yeah. we're gonna we're gonna go get you some plastic bins and we're gonna clean all this stuff up and we'll put it up in the shop for you oh okay that's a good idea yeah i don't even know what's in that truck i mean <clears throat> we we parked it out behind the shop up there you know i've been rowing this set there for 20 years i bet you so i i I don't even remember what all was up in that thing. Hey, all we need, we, the whole toolbox is full of nuts and bolts, so all we need to do is hook the Tide car up behind this thing and go, we go late mile racing. <laughs> <laughs> the, in, the interiors, other than the back door being all screwed up, the interior and all the cabinetry is not bad. I mean, it's not, it's, I mean, it, you can yeah. clean it up. Oh, yeah. No, that was a, that was a good truck. Uh, I, I, I think I bought a new one or something. We just parked that one, and didn't use it anymore. But I spent I spent quite a bit of money on it. I had those wheels and tires, and uh, we used it a lot uh, before I got something newer and better. But uh, yeah, just do whatever you need to do. Make it make it right. Get well, where to run. What's the backstory on the truck? Like? <laughs> there, what, uh, my buddy of mine's here. He's interested in the truck. Tell him that little story about the truck you told me. Oh my God! It takes all day to tell a story about that. That truck was—it was a uh, terminal transport line truck, and uh, I needed a truck to tow my car with. And I had old International that I'd gotten up in Owensboro, and it was a big old truck, but it wasn't worth a damn. So my my father-in-law, who owned, who was the president of Texas Gas, they owned Terminal Transport. He called him up and said, "I want a 
give my son-in-law a truck. So they rebuilt that. That is all brand new, new motor, new everything about it was brand new. They gave it. They brought it down, and gave it to me. It didn't have a box on it. It was just a tractor. And uh, about the same time, I signed a deal with Diegard, and I, so I didn't need the truck. And so the truck just sat. And uh, then I sold it to Bud Moore. And Bud Moore used it forever. He towed uh, Dale's car with it, I think the Wrangler car. And I don't know. He used it for a long, long time. And then I, I sold it to Bud for $15,000, and I bought it back from him for twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I, I reckon inflation caught up with it <laughs> so we, there's some pretty neat uh, f- uh, family stuff here for you DW yeah. we're going to separate yeah. out your racing stuff from your family stuff and, it, and okay. it's like pictures of you and Stevie and the kids and the dogs and <laughs> you, you know what I mean I think it's it's stuff it, there's a good bit of family stuff. If, if you want, the next time we run out to Nashville, I'll drop it off in Franklin for you if you want to go through all that stuff. Yeah, or, oh, that'd be great. That'd be perfect. That's, that's kind of what I want you to do. Yeah, and we'll uh, I'll take pictures, all this racing stuff, and there's just some... Re- there is some amazing history in this truck. Every box holds <laughs> holds a secret treasure, DW. <laughs> well, I agree. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. If, I don't. You probably never knew Daryl Andrews. He had a trucking company down uh, down. I don't know toward Winston Salem somewhere, and he took the truck. He's the one to put the. He kind of worked on it for me and put the wheels and tires and stuff on it. I don't know what all he did to it, but I, it's been worked on by a lot of different people. But then it just sat. I, I didn't even know, you know, I, I didn't even know if it crank or not. <laughs> well, I think the next step is we try to find one of these these diesel experts out there in YouTube land that have these we can make it run channels and see if somebody can make it run. Yeah, oh uh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like any GMC truck. It, you know, it looked like it was going to blow up because it's always leaking oil somewhere. <laughs> but but it, it it ran fine. We used it a lot. We went all over the country with that thing. Went up in Milwaukee and all. I don't know. Topeka and all kind of places with that truck. Well, I'll tell you, it's uh, thanks for letting us do this, DW. It's 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 really a cool history lesson. Even some of the stuff, I mean, I remember from back in the you know early '90s, late '80s. It's, yeah. re- it's really yeah. cool stuff. I mean, I remember when they handed you some of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, man. So, all right, we'll dig in there and see what you can find. All right, thanks, buddy. We'll keep you updated. All right, pal. Thanks. Yes, sir. Bye. Well, how about that? Straight from the man. Then we know about. There, that ends all the internet stories. That was DW on the phone. He told all these people think they know this truck. He yeah. just heard it right from DW. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I found Daryl's record collection. He's got Temptations in here. Spud's still digging. <laughs> he's, I'm not he's like, to he's like oh, we don't want to talk to that guy. I want to find some freaking more shoes. <laughs> it's not digging. It's called spelunking. This is right? this is like uh, what's that? TV I guess there's show? like sea cushions. Yeah, American really pickers. Or, or <laughs> Literally. Or, I bet they're about. I bet they're jealous right about now. There's some cool stuff in here. Yeah, this is. Oh, look at that! <laughs> when Americans were small enough to sit on this. Yeah, <laughs> I remember sitting on those things when I'd go to races with my dad when I was those seven. Those were more narrow. Though. Yeah, they weren't even comfortable when I was seven. Wow. Pontiac matches or golf tees. There you go, Spud. A couple more Bush Bowl <laughs> awards. Oh yeah. Well, what cool. year is that from? Huh? What year is that? Uh, I think that's the early 90s there. No, a couple of 81s earlier. Whoa. Well, this is all you right here, buddy. Pontiac golf tees and a ball marker. Ho 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 ho! What? Holy sh! I don't have to bleep that out. I mean, <laughs> crap. <laughs> what is awesome. that? a soda that you can't drink is it full shake it it's a soda you can't drink i imagine it is it's sealed hmm smells pretty well look at all these patches (laughs) you can be dick trickle (laughs) cold trickle what is this like let's go to the track and find some guys from the crowd to beat a crew right super flow is cold trickle yeah it's trickle (laughs) it's trickle all right you guys have fun smell that no it's not good i can smell it from back there it was bad that's rosin classic though, but <laughs> look at these. <laughs> <laughs> a name and address book. We'll open it up first name and there's Dale Earnhardt. Oh, trophies. This is a, a letter 
to Rick Hendrick from Goodyear. The last line is, my problems have returned to what they were before, i.e. money in place of Hoosiers. <laughs> so this is like a letter from the, the Tire Wars, March 22, 1990. This is some, this is some stuff here. Yeah. Those are badass. There's all sorts. Sent to DW plus Jeff H. Here's a, a letter from Harry Melling to Bill France Jr. Talk, um, has a list of negligence and insensitivity with things that he feels need to be improved. There's a lot of important documents in here. We need to like make sure this box is safe. I'll hold the door open. You got it? Oh, that's yeah. so sweet. Thank you. Gotcha. Brand new. Look, you could have got Dale. You could have got Richard. The Edelbrock sponsored Dale Earnhardt car. The Holly sponsored Petty car. <laughs> At least Gatorade's the only one that signed up, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that carpet. Yeah. That's, Is that Scream 70s all, or what? All 70s. <sighs> that's wild. Brand new Spicer, dude. Look at that. <laughs> I'd run that thing. Yeah, me too. Look at I this. There was trailer. Look, they've even got the toilet paper roll. <laughs> they leave that on there. The that's... amount of mud daubers in here is wild. Oh, there's, nothing. Oh, there's like axles in here. It's like axle. Looks like. Or maybe drive shafts. Oh yeah, it's got a ruler on the side of it too. Neat. Look at this shoe. We got freaking foams coming apart. Oh. Those clamps. And... Oh, there's plenty of hardware here, man. Dude, you see in here? This toolbox oh. is still full of everything. Look at all that brand new. Wow. Is so some why are we racing bolts. right now? Somebody would really value this for like a period correct restoration, yeah, probably. Absolutely. I mean, that's legit. If only we knew how to contact a shop that restored vintage race cars. Right. I wish I knew a guy. Some guy named AA Ron. Yeah. Oh, toy car. What's that one? That's all. Oh, yeah. Western, Western Auto. Auto. That's my favorite one. That was such a clean look, dude. That mm -hmm. bright orange. Gotta love the day glow. In the box. This thing will do pretty good on eBay, Daryl. I think you're set for retirement now. Gaffer's tape. That's 200 mile an hour tape, damn you. <laughs> quick starting Thrust, fluid. Thrust, quick starting fluid. Old lot tie. I like how they have their little shelf there. Wonder hey, any... there's a tarp. Pull that thing out, see if there's anything in there. Somebody probably rolled that up in 1990. Nope. Nothing? Just tarp. Damn. You gotta look, though. You got Nothing up there. Ah, it's a bunch of these. Look at that. You want to call Dale Earnhardt? His number's in there. <laughs> you may not answer. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What is that? It's a lead puller. A lead puller. I'm about to use this in the shop. Yeah, so you screw that into your lead reel. And you grab, you screw it in the soft end of the lid and yank it out. Help it get out of your frame row. If you're watching this and you're into this stuff, make sure you're subscribed because we're going to be... This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is why we moved to North Carolina yeah, and stuff Terry like that. Terry Bradshaw's this. number if you need it. Terry Bradshaw. What? Hell yeah. I need to learn how to throw a football. Right here. Brett Brett Hall. Hall. No Brett Hall on here. Ron, Ron Howard's right there. Ron Howard. <laughs> Ron Howard? <laughs> we should do a video of us <laughs> just calling these numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is cool. This video is gonna be long. I don't care because I know you're here for it. Tom Pistone, Rose Penske. Tom Pistone's still out there kicking. Oh, Roger Penske. Roger Penske. You got a phone number right there. I like we got some bins and we're gonna attempt to organize some of this stuff here. You found some more shoes? Yeah, Oakley boots. I didn't even open made fucking. Oh, yeah, I used to shoes. open my dad's unopened like toys of these <laughs> when I was little and I would try to break them off of the podium so that I could make them drive. The ones that had the alcohol sponsors that were screwed on there with the, the yes. ones you couldn't get off. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I remember doing that at my grandparents' house. My mom would take those and then dremel the screw off and take it off for me. Those are like really strange. Whoa. Like Kanye Flat would wear these. These yeah. are like, like OG Yeezys. So those are, that's wild. What size are they? I want to be taller. We got those three pairs. Three pairs of those? Twelve and a half. Man, that's my size. You want the red ones, the black ones, or the khaki ones? Uh, I don't know. Oh, is that you a Pontiac? Put on, you'll be seven foot tall. Check out that Pontiac hat. There's piss stains on it, though. Oh, well, then you can just show it to me. I don't have to touch it. Smell? 
Looks good to me. Contact. Neil Bonnet tribute. Man. Yeah. Rockingham 96. DW 16th, Earnhardt so, 1. Look at this freaking clock. Yeah, I know. What a hog. There's a, a Gatorade one and there's a, another one. Kind of like it. Well, they're, they're going through that box. Let's see what's in there. That one. We didn't go through that one. I remember that for sure. A Budweiser ashtray helmet. Bill Boner. <laughs> <laughs> honorable Bill Boner. The Honorable. With a name like that, how do you not get voted in, right? Yeah, I'd, I'd vote for Bill Boner even if I didn't know what. He drives a hard bargain. Bill Boner? Bill Boner. He's a lot stiffer than the competition. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a head up on the other guys. Oh boy. Oh boy. I just wonder where all these marks came from. You never know. What stuff rolled against this door over the years. Getting pissed, this looks like a transmission. <laughs> like the side case yeah. of like a, a freaking T10 or something. Transmission just banging against there for a thousand miles. Dude, Daryl Walter has a day in just about every state. This is from Kansas. Owensboro Sports Fest, under 13 boys. I don't think that's fair, Daryl. <laughs> I don't think that's fair. Driver of the year, 1981. That's cool. Silver bug. It's wild, man. This should be in like a museum somewhere. Maybe it will be. Oh, here's a cool Western Auto car thing. Another clock. <laughs> Somebody made him a lot of clocks. I love Daryl Walker. <laughs> Probably where the blood stain come from on the mattress. Imagine expressing your love for somebody by crocheting them something. Right. That's romantic. Just right? 80s stuff. <laughs> Just 80s stuff. Well, there's, there's like a million things in here. Oh my god. This was rolled up in 98. No stack of stickers. Oh, dude. Are they all the same? Yeah. It's like his desk. Man. That's neat. What year did that come from? Mm -hmm. Another pole award? Yep. Second round fast. It's 141.649 mile an hour. 86. Yeah, that's cool. The Delaware 500. I found the most reputable award that Daryl's ever won. What is that? The 1979 NASCAR Bowling Tournament <laughs> Award. <laughs> that makes sense. There's some bowling shoes over here, I think. I saw some somewhere. Daryl was a bowler. He used to whoop up on him. <coughs> the rain's in a track. Him and Senator Bill Boner. Yep, Bill Boner and him. He used to go bowling all the time. Bowling for Boner. What is in there? I don't know. Exxon Daryl Walter received. Like there used to be something there. On should there should be something sitting on it. Wow. Made for Daryl Walter, April 9th, 1997. Take a picture of this. Ooh, ooh, it's a toy car. It's a toy car. Yeah, it is. I'm excited. Western Auto. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, this one is minty fresh. Okay. Yep. You find more Paul Awards in here? Yeah, there's some. There's a bunch of stuff over here, man. This one feels heavy. 98 Daytona 500. Wow. Look at this. Media Days of Thunder. Wow. <laughs> Oh, oh, little car. Sweet. Yes. Whoa. 95 pull award. What is that? A Pepsi can. An old Pepsi can. Did Pepsi have cocaine in it then? <laughs> Probably not that. Oh, you. Uh, it's from the Middle East. <laughs> Darlington key to the city. Not much to unlock in Darlington, but <laughs> you got the key, damn it. Mayor's key. That's cool. A feather light clock. Did I fuck for a hitch? Yeah. There's another one too. There's two? Yeah, I don't know if it's the same. Oh, it's oh, orange. Oh, that's orange. Looks like they didn't get the, the font right the first time. They had to redo it, and this is like the, the revision. Look at this do car. Buick. Hell oh, yes. Is that the honorable Bill Boner's gavel? Bill Boner? I declare you suck. <laughs> 92 pole award. Martinsville. Vintage windbreaker. <laughs> Check this thing out. Daryl Daryl. <laughs> the pockets are fleece lined, and that's just fancy. It's an old Bush NASCAR Stein. <laughs> that's badass. To Daryl Wald trip. A real champion with personal best wishes, George Bush. That's real handwriting. 
Incredible. He even spelled his name wrong. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Wald Trip. That's what it says on the letter, isn't it, too? Mr. Yeah. Darrell Wald Trip. Wald Trip. <laughs> this is actually signed by George Bush. What? Yeah, he even spelled Daryl's name wrong. <laughs> Mr. Wald Trip. Wald Trip. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Official <laughs> photograph of the White House, Washington, on the back. That's so cool. That is crazy. It even, the, the yes, original. that's the letter who came with it, right? Yeah. yeah. And then there's You a... might enjoy having the enclosed photographs which were taken during your meeting with him. Pawn Stars and American Pickers can suck it. We're killing them here. Yeah. What is that? Driver, the city of Huntsville, driver. Alabama. Key to the city? Yes. Why is that important to you? Because it's home. Welcome to the Wall Trip home, established in 1969. That's cool. Nice. That's wholesome. I'm sure they'll remember or like to see that again. Yeah. Or like, remember that old thing from the kitchen wall? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sweet hand painted thing. October 1981 to Daryl Wall trip from Derek Colson, Claremont, NC. Derek Colson, where are you at? Anybody know Derek Colson from Claremont? Tag him in the comments. Send him an email. He's a good artist. Daryl kept your picture. Daryl Wall trip. Red wings. Red, Red wings. wings. That's sick. <laughs> Wait, pull that back around. How cool is that? That's epic. The Basset Hound. He looks like Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Die Guard. What is that? There's like a TV in the back there. That's some... I don't even know what's going on here. Car. Back in the old days when the drivers did work. Yep. Yeah, another license plate here. The car phone. Oh, that's cool. Ah, an 88 DW. What is that? Oh, a freaking airplane. Oh, it's an airplane schematic. Oh, Sam Bass airplane schematics. No, it's a Newell. No oh way. God. Newell coach layout, 1994. Wow. Oh, those are renders. Like different different designs. Different designs, yeah. Yeah, remember I went through Newell's cabinet where they had all of these for I all like the ones that. that actually got produced. That one's cool. That one's the best one. Yeah, that looks the most like the car. Damn it, Daryl. You literally just got done saying, should we take these out of here so no one gets caught reaching for them? And then you were trying to be nice and taking it out of the thing and... And now I'm bleeding. What is this from? Modified. Daytona. 200 winner. Come on, check this out. Where's the car from that? I know where this goes. <laughs> there it is. So when was the last time that the plaque was reunited with the car? Probably 1978, <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There we go. That's awesome. We sent a picture of that DW. Did they get kicked out of that? Oh, that'll stay with the car forever. You would ask him when you want a go kart race in '61. Right. <laughs> He's getting a kick out of that. He wondered where it went. The plaque. Yeah. The only Michael Waltrip thing in this whole truck. Chris, did you see this? Unless you count the Raisin Brand boxes that Daryl is also on. It's Daryl, duh. Action figure DW, he's like doing some freaking Kung Pao Sumo tea bag smash. Oh my god. Oh my god. Daryl Walchip kitty shirt from the 80s. That's actually a women's shirt. Well, it's been a long day. We got a lot accomplished. Everything important's organized. We're gonna figure out where the rest of this stuff's gonna go. This is all freaking polo word plaques and stuff, tapes, everything. What? Lawnmower warranties. Lawnmower warranties. Are you subscribed yet? Because if you're not, you really should be. We're going to do this kind of stuff all the time. This is just a start. What a day. Do you have any parting words, bud? It's awesome hanging out with you guys. We got to see some cool stuff. The tide always comes back. You've been like a, a walking display of this as the day has gone on. You got the belt buckle. The vans. You got the vans. Dude, I'm, I'm fast right now. I'm probably <laughs> he's, I'm quick. He's loving life. Well, that was one heck of a day digging through that truck. Seeing all that stuff you're almost like desensitized to it after a while and you look back you're like wow every single thing in there if you would have just had that one thing and been like oh this look at this thing you'd be like wow this is so cool but there's so much of it we're just like oh newspaper clipping old picture old picture poll award and like it's like just did you kind of feel like that too yeah how it was just like a complete overload of awesome stuff i was like damn there's like 30 poll awards right here like what do you 
What are you supposed to do? I, yeah, it's I, just wild. That that wasn't even like the coolest stuff. That was just there. The stuff. That was like probably one of the most uninteresting things out of all the other things that were in there, it's, which is just crazy. It's crazy. Daryl is like the man, and he just had all this stuff in here. Just the opportunity that we had to come across that and facilitate that and experience it is something I'm grateful for. And I hope Daryl enjoys having some of his old stuff that he probably didn't know where it was. The stuff like that is why we moved to North Carolina, is, is the history, the racing history, NASCAR world, all that. So if you like that too, make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on because we're going to be doing that a lot more. Well, I'd also like to tell you about some new stuff we just got in. Like uh, a couple of you have asked about the ICT hoodie. We got those. And we got the OG saw hat back in stock for LXL. We got these in stock. The Good Wrench logo with the suck it on there. Not very many of those though. Not very many. Yeah. You have a bear hop on that. And if you like the shirt we were wearing during the video, it's that one. It's styled after Dale Earnhardt's 1988 pit crew uniforms. We have those in stock all the way up to 6XL, but we are out of large and extra large currently. We're not gonna be ordering any more of these. So hop on them before they're gone. And we got ICT hoodies. These are the nice hoodies, the same kind that we had in the, the OG flag ones, if you guys been around for that. They're good, almost like an Under Armour style. They don't fade, they don't shrink. It's, it's good stuff. These are my favorite. They are on the website. We do keep them in limited stock. So they're, it's like they're made to order, but they're not. We'll kind of let orders build for a little bit and then we'll order more than what we have so that we still have some in stock, but we just can't afford to keep them in stock in the quantities of t-shirts. One, cause they're expensive. We get good stuff. We don't use cheap stuff around here. Two, they just take up tons of room. Like there's only one, two, three, four, five medium hoodies. That's all we have. And five shirts takes up about like an inch and a half. So if you order one, if you hop on it fast, you could have it next week or you might have to wait a little bit, but you're going to get it either way. We're going to make it happen. So stablenautoworks.com, you can check on that. And pretty soon, um, we're going to be doing a cool giveaway with Rowdy Energy too. So stay tuned for that. We got you guys uh, have that same bug for history that we do. Because if you didn't, we wouldn't be able to do stuff like this because we wouldn't be able to pay the rent here and make videos about it. StaplesInAutoWorks.com Who packs all the orders? Me. Yes, that's right. And every single order comes with a handwritten note from Logan signed by both of us. Every single one. So. These are pretty cool. Yeah, cool piece of paper.